so I bought a book today. And it's about the destruction and the firefighters. This book is dedicated to the 23 members of New York Police Department who sacrificed their lives on September 11, 2001, so that others might live, and to their families who must bear their loss. It's an interesting word, their sacrifice. You can read that. That's the photographers that took these. They're members of the New York Police Department. This book is old, and somebody has taken pictures from it already, but there is still some good pictures in this. You can see the damage that the planes made. And you can see the smoke trail from the fires. Now this is really black smoke. This indicates a very oxygen starved event. Black smoke like that is, is what you would expect from a oxygen starved event. It did trail off. There was a wind. And then we have the first or south tower collapsing or collapsed. And you can see how big the smoke or pyroclastic flow is. And later on, the north tower standing by itself and the cloud dissipating, sorry. And then at 1028, the North Tower falls, is destroyed, is destroyed. And you can see, we're missing a couple pages here of this big pyroclastic flow, but it's there. Yeah, dust. There's a good photo of the whole thing. There was an excess of energy. You look at that. You look at that. How, how big that thing is. It's huge. I mean, that towers were 110 stories tall, and they got destroyed in less than 15 seconds apiece. <sighs> Is looking down Broadway, Building 7 is in the foreground. That's an important building because it fell at free fall for two and a half of its 6.5 second destruction. Now we have some of the aftermath. And you look at that, and that is not, not what I expect to see from a gravitational event. There is, these things are broken in ways that <sighs> scream to me of an explosive event. This is afterwards, and you're looking basically at the rubble pile. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking. You're looking at something else. I'm looking, uh, th trying to look through the camera lens. I'm not really good at this. This is really my first attempt to communicate. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that cloud. Sorry. Look at that cloud. It's, it's huge. It's huge. There is more pictures.
pressures. You can see how that white cloud of dust is trying to pick out Building 7, but that's actually in the dark because of the cloud that is risen. But you can tell, and there's a photograph later on in the book, and I'm trying to figure out where that is. I think it's of these boats. It's closer up, and you can see how they're caked with the dust. We're talking about long view. So the people are just like ants. Another view in the distance. And more. It's Interesting. I don't know if this is just what time this is. You can still still see Building 7 there. So that's in the afternoon, and Building 7 has not fallen yet. You can see how massive it is. And for that, eight stories of the 47-story building simply got out of the way in order for that building, and it's pretty big in its own right, to fall at free fall. On the ramps, people trying to get away, and there you have a picture of, what do you call it, the Brooklyn Bridge and Manhattan Bridge in the foreground. Yeah, there we have the dust, the dust permeated with iron microspheres and the residue of nanothermite. Yeah, there were planes. There were definitely planes. They flew into the buildings. <coughs> I don't doubt that for a second. The only question I really have is who is in control of them. I'm missing a couple pages here. They're right in a row. I think they might be more pictures of plane parts. And here we are later on. And it's interesting. There's maybe pictures of Building 7. These are other buildings that have been... You can see blast damage on the windows. I mean, you can see blast damage here and here. I mean, I, I, I mean, it's it's screaming at me that that's blast damage. How these things were bent and bowed. I don't know. It's very hard. Look at this. Now, this is incredibly interesting. How in the, you know, how in, how in the name of whatever did that car end up like that? You tell me. I really don't know. I mean, that, that's not from gravity alone. That is not from gravity alone. <sighs> I'm not sure. Opposite above the plaza era area, part of the antenna from the north tower speared the ground. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. There's a hole. There's a hole in the plaza. Uh, yeah, this is pictures of the rubble pile. You might... 
that's a whole section, or there, there are two sections of wall unit. Those are not the, where are they from exactly? It looks like they're embedded. It's like they're, they're blown out and still, I'm not sure, really not sure. This is my first time I'm really going through it. There's, you can see how there is still something right at the bottom. This, this is incredible. You can see the blast damage to the buildings adjacent, adjacent to the towers. That was not just just the building falling down. That was blast damage there. And this, this is so... It got blown into that building. And same thing with this. There were firefighters that went into this building in an attempt to extinguish fires that should have been easy for them to put out. They had utmost confidence when they went into the building. That's, that's another piece of embedded stuff. And this is a picture of hosing down Building 7 from the roof of the Verizon building. Uh, more of the Twin Towers. I'm not sure. Definitely there. Hosing down. So this was taken at Church Street, along Church Street. And firefighters near the South Bridge, you can see. <sighs> Litter all over the street, dust covered everything, everything, everything. And you can see those boats covered with dust. They're on the harbor, and it went into the harbor. There's some more of the rubble pile. I'm only halfway through the book. These are rescue workers. Now, I'm not sure if what those are. I really don't. Are those the remnants of floor pans that I'm looking at? I don't know. The concrete isn't stuck to them if they are. It's hard to make sense of this when it's really chaos. Oh. Here we have, oh, that's so interesting. I don't know where we're looking at. Crosses jutting out of the wreckage were common and were left there as long as possible. This and this. I don't know what that is, but I'm sure there is things, there are things that tell us there are tales here. What's most interesting here is how there, there, you look there, that is a piece of trusses right there. 
and you can see how it is mangled. It is mangled in a way that I would expect from an explosion coming out along the bottom, the bottom of the explosions, or at the bottom of the floors. We have fire trucks that are crushed. That's so, so macabre. Okay. These are pieces of the Twin Towers. And it's interesting how it... I tell a story. People... Oh. And the people that work the rubble pile. And I don't know if those masks were adequate, but just notice there's a there's a guy that's really got her beat, eh? I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm it just reminds me of, of, of COVID twenty years later here and people not wearing their masks appropriately. I know that it's up to him, but oh dear. Yeah, these are Amish Market on Cedar Street. It looks like we have broken windows here, and, and the best uh, a daycare center. And there's debris inside that. Uh, Windows blew out. <sighs> okay, it says right here, the windows blew out of the buildings all around the World Trade Center, and there you are, where you are. I mean, that's not something that just gravity alone does. There you are, blast damage, blast damage. That was not. There we have, oh, Oh dear. Yes, blast damage across the street. I mean, it's their atrium. Sorry, I'm really a lousy thing here. But there we are. Steel beam. Steel beam. Steel beam in the middle of this. This is a steel beam. Steel beam in the middle of this. Does that make sense to you, that that could be done by gravity alone? I don't think so. I really don't. Look at this. That stuff was shredded. That's all the debris. That is all the debris. And you got blast damage. Blast damage to the windows all around. All around. These firefighters gave their lives and are continuing to die because of the dust and the contamination at ground zero. Yes. Yeah. I... Oh dear. Removing stuff from the rubble pile. Lower Manhattan, World Trade Center. Now here is what happened. Now it didn't get, it just put on barges, not directly. No, and I know that fresh kills a Staten Island, okay? And they were, this is where people had a chance to have a look at the beams. And I don't know... You know, there should be some more photos from there. I know that NIST's job on the Twin Towers never really got into explaining how 
the buildings came down, they relied on the Zans. Here we are. Here we are. Memorial service, October 11th, the first of many memorials at Ground Zero. <sighs> Missing pages. I don't know. Pictures. <sighs> Beams. And more beams. <sighs> Cleaning up. I don't know. We have some kind of... I don't know what that is. What is that? What is that? This is... Cleaning up, cleaning up, cleaning up, cleaning up. Yeah. The dogs were incredible. They sensed that they had an important job to do, and they seemed to know that quick waggle of a tail would make you feel good. Yes. I don't know. Searching for human remains. Human remains. These bodies. They weren't recovering bodies. They were recovering pieces. These people that they did find were in pieces. They were there. They were blast damage. Ah, here we are again. Okay, this, this is part of uh, the trusses. If you notice this here, they're, they're, they're blown apart. They're, I mean, it's hard to identify them, but that's what I'm looking for. It, there, there's this piece, piece here, that's part of a truss. That's part of a trust system, if I'm not mistaken, and so is that. It's not easy always looking at this. The asbestos was blown off a lot of the beams. Exterior. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh dear. Prayer station. <sighs> Zerts. They went through boots. It went through boots like nobody's business because the ground was so hot it would, their boots would melt. And they came from a long way away. Why Afghanistan? Oh. That's, that's a picture of the Deutsche Bank building. I don't know. And there are some more blast damage. Blast damage to the roof. <sighs> America, fuck. Yeah. Look at that. You look at that. Oh. Eventually, October 31st, October 31st, we're still there, fighting fires. Yeah. January 15th, 2002.
Yeah. Okay. This is the last steel beam that will be pulled out of ground zero on a mark on it is marked the death toll of PAPD, NYPD, and FDY, sorry, FD, NY. First responders went into that building expecting to put out a fire, expecting to rescue people and it got blown up with them inside. 